Sean Sewell with ingamer.com. I've got a fun comparison of two new Patagonia jackets, the Storm Stride and the Dual Aspect. I have detailed reviews on both of these independently. I think very highly of both of these jackets. There are some similarities and a few differences I want to bring to your attention, and then as well as features, functions, and how they fit. So, for reference, I am 6 foot 1, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms, and they're both size extra large. Uh, the Storm Stride is a trim fit. I think it's a fantastic fit. The alarms are definitely long enough to accommodate any kind of activities, emotions, reaching overhead, and all that. It is a 40 denier per text material. Patagonia claims it's their most active shell. Um, I take that to be it's their most breathable as far as a hard shell. Um, I think it breathes a little bit better than the dual aspect, but uh, I have no way to quantify that other than skin track and exerting and then wearing it in warm weather. It's actually like 65 degrees today and I'm wearing this jacket. So um, I like the fit and the function. Uh, it is a nice material. It has mechanical stretch. Boom. Uh, both jackets feature the H2 No water or performance standard waterproof breathable membrane. So both 20K, 20K, which is more than sufficient for anything I've encountered. Two sizable chest pockets that will swallow up your gloves, skins, sandwiches, whatever you want to put in there. The zippers are smaller than the dual aspect, and I already covered that in the last review. You get a one zipper, and again, it is small or smaller than a dual aspect. Hood is helmet compatible, has three way adjustments. Built in adjustment little clips right here and the one in the rear, and I'll show you that. Stiffened brim, Rico reflector, good neck coverage. On the inside, one drop pocket. Again, great place for your skins. One small pocket that I have not actually really used yet. And then you get that unique little not quite powder skirt, but just something to grab your your rear to keep snow from coming up. Again, like I mentioned, small, small zipper. There is the fit of the Storm Stripe. I'll grab my backpack to show you how it fits with the backpack, which is ideal for backcountry skiing and slipboarding. Not having the hand pocket there makes it really streamlined, I suppose. So yeah, of course it plays very nicely. It looks really sharp, boom. And then the pockets are placed just right. Yeah, so fully functional, great for backcountry skiing and split boarding, which is how I've been testing this jacket. So there it is. This is the Storm Stride, size extra large, Andy's blue color. And I'm going to keep it on because the dual aspect fits a little bit bigger. Again, it's a size extra large. It is 30 denier eco nail, which eco nail is recycled fishing net nylon. Pretty awesome. A little noisier than the Storm Stride. And the reason I'm wearing the jacket, like I mentioned, is to show you the sizing difference. So you get an extra inch, inch and a half right here as far as coverage. It has all the same adjustments as far as keeping the cords managed, but instead it uses the cohesive system. The cohesive system is this dot right here. So you'll notice that throughout the jacket. I feel like it's an even more evolved cord management system. Two sizable zippers. Even higher neck coverage, helmet compatible hood. Stiffened brim, Rico reflector, adjustments in the rear, adjustments at the side, cohesive, and the fit is even bigger than the Storm Stripe, but, but not by much. It's not huge gaper big, it's just larger and more accommodating. On the inside, there are no drop pockets, but you get two hand pockets as well as two chest pockets. and. I think that's great because I always put my gloves in the pockets and it still plays nicely with the backpack. I have shot this a few times in the mountains today. It is super windy. The audio has been horrible. So, there. Totally functional hand pockets with the backpack or of course your climbing gear. 
I think that's a big takeaway, big positive takeaway right there. Price on the dual aspect is 449. And this is actually something green color, although it looks yellow to me. Maybe I'm color blind. And then this one, the Storm Strike, is $4.99. So a $50 difference, $40 denier, $30 denier. A little bit quieter, perhaps more breathable. I have no way to quantify that. Very attractive um, fit, great color. Plays nicely, both of them play nice with the backpack. If this one had hand pockets, I would be over the moon. If it had bigger zipper and two of them, I would be confirmed over the moon. But I feel like the features on the dual aspect um, kind of does everything this jacket does with those features. Bigger zippers, two of them, and the hand pockets. Um, this is really your call. Uh, both of them have pit zips, of course, uh, cord, management, cord management systems in place, uh, great materials, great build quality, great fit. Either one will treat you right, um, but if there's anything I might have missed in this comparison, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you with that information. This is Sean Sewell with InGearment.com. Hope you found this helpful. Until next time, take care.